Hey, Francois again. I'm going to talk about Teams, uh, answering a question actually that uh, someone in a comment was putting. Is like, can I connect to a meeting, but can I also participate with a different uh, device for my webcam? So we already answered that yes, you can connect to a meeting and then you're going to join the meeting on a different device because you may have the sound that is better. Maybe you have a headphone that you want to use from your mobile and it doesn't connect to your computer, but you keep the computer because you need to see the screen quite large, right? When someone shares screen. So let's do a test. I'm going to, in this little channel, I just run a meeting straight away, meet now. <clears throat> Let's move the meeting here so we can see it. Um, obviously, I want to have a webcam. So yes, in my case, I have multiple webcams. It's kind of magic, isn't it? Let's just uh, remove this one a little bit. So I'm going to put the, the audio as well. I hope it's not going to be too um, troubling the audio. And here we go. I should see myself, here we go. So now we are in a meeting, great. And let's say someone is sharing a screen, which is perfect, but I have an issue with my camera here. So let's turn off the camera of Teams, right? This little one is only the, the recording today. So I'm gonna use my, uh, let's have a look. I'm gonna use an iPad, it's blurry, so I put my hand. You can see it's an iPad. It's amazing, this blurry thing. So it's an iPad with Teams. And I will also go to the same channel because I want to join the same meeting. Yeah? And I can see it says new meeting has started into this meeting webcam. And I can click on join. Here we go. So now this is the interesting bit and I'm going to try to um, not blur my camera so everybody can see. Let's pause and so now we can see better. Okay, so what is really cool is it's asking me, do you want to add this device or transfer the call, the meeting to this device? Actually, I want to add. So first option, because I want to continue on this screen, right? Yeah. As, I said, As I said, microphone was a problem. So I turn off the microphone. I'm also going to turn it off uh, the volume here. Okay, nobody has volume. Perfect. So I've joined the meeting. That's amazing. Look at this. I've joined the meeting. But as you all know, in people, we can only see one person in the meeting. So first thing is really good. I always tell to everyone, you will not, you will not tell anyone that you are connected um, from a different device. But we are here to test the webcam, remember? So now on my iPad, I'm going to click webcam. And see what happens. Ah. I'm hoping that you will be seeing here, but the problem is I am, I am this user here, so they, I cannot see myself. Okay, so I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna call myself from a different user. All right, I'm back. So this is what I do. I paused the video so that I could open another Teams with a different organization because I have a few uh, tenants. And now I'm going to move Teams into our sharing window so you can all see that. Here we go. So now we are on the web, right? It's Teams web. Oh, but that's, that's me here. So here was the camera like exactly this one, hello, this camera. This camera was the one when I joined on Teams. So if I go back to Teams, it was this one, that's the one. But as I said, I disconnected it at some point, right? So I stopped the camera. Now I'm gonna turn it on again. You can see, here we go, this is my camera. So if I disconnect the camera of the main meetings, now let's go back to my guest they can still see me on the ipad so it's great because we can decide which camera we use if i turn off the other one 
Now I'm going to turn the, the camera of the main screen and I go to my iPad and I will turn it off. Here we go. And now I can turn on again the main camera. It's taking a few minutes, maybe not, not minutes, a few seconds. Uh, ah, I just clicked again, so now I disconnected it. But anyway, it did work. It did work. There's just a tiny delay, maybe because I'm on the web here, so it's a little bit slower than the actual client itself. Okay, so she is making some noise, some uh, visits here. Say hello. Okay, let's show the camera again. All right, here we go. All right, it took a long time, by the way. It took like 30 seconds by the time from the time I turn on turn on my camera on the Teams client I was using this to the time he actually displays to my user and my uh, external user. So now I'm going to go on the iPad again just to do a last test and I turn on the camera. Here we go. And now it's replacing my main camera. So my external like invite guest will just see the iPad. So we can just balance between that and it's great. Really cool. All right. So I hope it was useful. I'm going to close this uh, meeting. In fact, uh, uh, here, hang up as the external person. And then I am back into my Teams and close. Hope it was useful. If you want to have more demo, just comment on the on the video and that's exactly what I do. When I have the time, I really don't mind. I like to tell and to teach people. This is Francois from Francois Teltech for now and uh, I'll speak to you soon.